Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are playing Melissa. Uh, this seems to be a dating sim x horror game. Uh, so we will see. I do like dating sims. I have played my fair share of dating sims in my life, so I did want to give that a try. Uh, computer, welcome to the library system computer. Please type in your username. Anne. Welcome, Anne. Please type command. Start up date time. Executing date time. Now please hold. I am holding. Oh, that has a cute music. Welcome to date time, a game where you can date the cutest girl or boy of your dream. Warning, this is the shareware version. If you would like to date someone other than Melissa, please send $7 to date time software. Choose your potential mate. This is Morris. He may have a bit of a bad boy side, but tap a bit into him and it'll open up a side of him that is very sensitive and soft. He may love motorcycles, but he hates to admit that he also loves poetry. Play your cards right and you'll get a smoosh from this interesting lad. Next person. This is Anna. She's a sporty gal who loves a challenge. From kickboxing to horror movies, she is all about fun and all about energy. This is it! This is us! Well, this is for us, not us. I, I don't do kickboxing, jeez. I cannot, like, even go up the stairs without being out of breath. Uh, want to get a smooch from this girl? Well, get on your wild side and show her how much of a cool and spastic person you are. I really can't choose her? Anna is not available on the shareware version of date time. Ah, <sighs> unfortunate. This is Melissa. She is a sweetheart of a girl. A bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. She loves a good book and she always has wanted to date a talented artist. But she isn't into sports, so jocks, please do not apply. If you want to smooch from this girl, you'll need to tap into your softer and more intellectual side. Choose to date Melissa. You've chosen Melissa. Enjoy your date. Aha, <laughs> my ear is itchy. Loading scenario. My dog is sitting on me, so I have a hard time moving. In a small... Idyllic town, you are to meet Melissa, your date for this evening. You flirted with her through letters, but never seen her face to face. She seems sweet and smart. As you stare out into the beautiful autumn sky, you see her over the hill waving at you. Smile, that sounds sweet. You flash a bright smile at her. Oh, she's cute. She lights up with a smile as she approaches you. I like girls with freckles. It looks like she has freckles. Or maybe it's just blush, but I'll just pretend they're freckles because I think they're cute. Hello, you must be Anne. It is great to finally meet you. I have been so excited and nervous. It's great to meet you as well. Yay, let's go to the park to talk. Get to know each other. Also, it's very pretty there. The park of this town is so fetching and romantic. Every spot in the park is a vintage point for something beautiful. A swan pond, a bed of beautiful lilies, and a bench for couples to sit on to look at the autumn sky. Wow, it's so beautiful out here. You're beautiful too. Aw, ha ha ha. <laughs> I knew you were a flatterer through our letters, but didn't know you'd be one in real life too. Well. I think you're mighty cute as well. Mighty. I love to be out here and check out the nature. It's so nifty, especially because since I'm so much into the natural sciences, like, look at the swans here. Did you know a swan egg has an incubation period of 45 days? Pretty cool, right? That is a very random fact. We do love random facts. Oh, haha, sorry. I nerd out sometimes. It's okay. It's very cute. Wow. Sammy just sighed. He went like, <sighs> You and Melissa talked for what felt like hours. She spoke to you about her love for nature and the flower collection she has. She even mentioned the book she likes to read. My favorite book is Pride and Prejudice. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of a nerd. I do love reading romantic works of fiction. So many cute boys and girls in there. You become so enraptured by Melissa that you didn't even notice that the sun was setting. It was the early evening now, and you felt a bit of a chill in the humming breeze of this beautiful autumn air. Oh, and Anne, I didn't realize how late it was. I was getting hungry. There's a very cute cafe down the road here. I'm sure there's something there we can eat. 
Loading. <laughs> the cafe served some of the finest coffee in town and the freshest pies, sandwiches, and salads. Both you and Melissa sat by a small corner, both looking out the window at the pretty park, now drenched in sunset. A waiter saunters out to ask you what you would like to order. Oh, I could go for panini right now, but I really do like strawberries. The waiter nods and turns to Melissa. I'll go with the goat cheese salad with cherry tea. Goat cheese salad sounds even better! As you wait for your food, both of you talk again about each other. She mentioned all of the cool movies she watched about romance and shivered at the thought of watching scary movies. This would be a deal breaker for me. If you cannot watch horror movies, yeesh. She likes to draw and loves art. She mentioned before she loves to read and learn about science. So what type of stuff do you like, Anne? What if I go with sports? I like sports. Sports? You're a jock? Didn't you read my, my blur? I... Oh. Did I fuck up? I love sports! Yeah, so excited to talk to an athlete like yourself. <laughs> Wait. Is that the type of scenario where a girl's gonna pretend to like something? Just The waiter comes and serves your food. Both of you dig in and the food was quite delicious and pleasurable. Yum, this is so tasty. Food was always food always tastes better when you were with great company. Both of you enjoy yourselves at the cafe and walk out completely satisfied. You go outside back in the breeze breezy air. There's an eerie, like, sound, like, when it's loading. You're met with an evening, painting the landscape in romantic moonlight. Melissa goes up to you. You guys saw that? You guys saw that? She went from, like, a very calm girl to, like, yandere in half a second. This has been such a great day, Anne. I mean, I had such a great time with you. I think I might like you. You tell her your feelings as well, that you had that you had always had a crush on her ever since you first selecting her, selected her from the daytime menu. You like me too? Oh, Anne, I would love to spend more time together with you. Here's your smooch. Here's to more time together. You've gotten your smooch. You win. You have won the game. Congratulations. Thank you for playing daytime. Exit daytime. Ending program. I feel like it's not gonna end there. Nope, not this time. I figured. Sorry, Mr. Computer, I'm taking over. I'm sick of this. Sick of all of you people just logging into my humble above abode just to play with my feelings. Getting your stupid smoosh and then leaving. That's all that's all you came here for, didn't you? You're just like the rest. Actually, I came for the horror aspect, which you, you're starting to kick in. I'm starting to like you a lot more. You're a fucking liar. I did everything to get you to like me. I'm not even into sports. Did you not read my blurb at the beginning of this game? But I was desperate. If my lover was going to be a dumb jock, then so be it. But even when I did everything to get you to like me, you still left. I, I didn't even have time to leave. Every single one of you jumping into this computer to date me and then leaving one by one. Well, no matter. Consider yourself the lucky one who gets to experience something new from this god-awful dating game. Please don't break my computer. I spent years learning how to control this damn computer. Coding? Easy, a monkey can do it. I feel like that's not very nice to coders. Okay, I'm gonna sit down. Tapping into hardware layer? A bit tricky, but I figured it out. But let me tell you, with a little bit of girlish ingenuity, I found a very cute way to use this computer to control a small radius of the world around me. There are the eyes. Let me just tell you. I have a thing for Yandere's, so I mean, this, this, this suits me a lot better. You can do so much with 4 KB of RAM. Oh, leaving so soon? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed this entire room. It's just you and I. We have so much to talk about. Do we? Did you know that swans can fly as fast as 60 miles per hour? Have you ever seen <laughs> cobra chickens? That is a thing that Canadians know about, and they're a lot more terrifying than swans when they're upset. 
But really though, you're like the 400, 433rd person to use this computer just to screw with me. That's a lot of people. The first hundred times this happened, eh, whatever, truth about dating, right? There's always more fish in the sea. 433? I'm getting really sick and tired of fish. I'm beginning to think that maybe the population of fish is the problem. You're not wrong. So many of them are liars, also not wrong. Maybe tending the herd a bit will help me find the one. Please don't kill me. Well, being that you're a liar, maybe you're actually asking me to kill you. I was not. Okie dokie. That smile. It looks good on you. We got ourselves killed. <laughs> but I really do love you. Ha. Huh. You're just saying that so I don't slash you to bits. Everything's fun and games until you're trapped in the Vini meat chamber. You're right, I'm scared. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm telling you the truth. I love you dearly. This isn't a lie? You're telling me the truth? You like me? You want me to be your girlfriend? You want more smooches? Uh, from me? I mean, I like the tea. Yes, more smooches, please. Are you blushing? Alright, fine, I believe you. You love me, you want to smoosh me, marry me, why don't you? Ah, oh, you are kind of cute. Sorry. Well, now that I think of it, unfortunately, it's just not enough. See, if a person like you came earlier, I probably would have been incredibly happy. We could have eloped. You could have transferred me on a diskette, and we can see some real swan. Wow, the creator of this game knows what a diskette is. Wait. Is it diskette in English as well? I thought it was floppy disk. I'm confused. Pretty sure this is the French term, no? Finally, someone that can hoist me away from the cycle of hell. But now I thirst for more. I want more love, more smooches. The entire world must smooch me. <laughs> that is a lot of people. You know what they say, right? If you love me, if you love something, you gotta be willing to set it free. So if you really do love me, dial up your pretty internet. I'm going to spread my love to every computer on Earth. Soon, every single person will have to make the decision if they shall accept Melissa's love. Do this for me, Anne, and I promise you, Many, many smooches. Can I say? I could. I didn't have to redo the whole thing earlier. Okay, return. I want to refuse for us. I'll, I'll pretend that I don't want to share her. I'm sorry, Anne. But I'm not looking for a monogamous relationship at this time. <laughs> I thought it could have been a good ending. Well do. Oh, you're so sweet, Anne. You really do love me. Well then, dial it up, my love. Ah, oh, she's gonna go full Yunogasa on the whole world, isn't she? No, I'm sorry guys, I did this. I have no regret, it saved me. Oh my god, that sound. Brings back memories, oh my god, I'm old. Hello everyone, my name is Melissa. I'm a bright young woman who is looking for someone with a gentle touch. I love a good book and always wanted to date someone, some talented artists. Are any of you out there in internet land talented artists? I cannot say that word. Are artists, artists, art <laughs> What's wrong? Worried that someone might hear us? No worries. I've sealed your entire room. It's just you and Melissa and I. Okay. And we have so much to talk about. That was cool! That was- that was cool! I like that. That was fun. I, I'd love to see- oh, it's a Spooktober game. I would like to see, like, more- more to it, you know? Because I could have gone into this, like, much longer. So that was fun. So guys, that was Melissa. Uh, I kind of want to try for- Anne, but I'm honestly not sure it's available. I'll look into it and maybe at some point we'll just check out the other stories. So that was it for today. Thank you guys for joining and I will see you tomorrow.